Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing an announcement. Ta da! Okay, so for the entirety of last year, I was spent using my free time to make a game, and this is now it. It is called Tiny World, and pretty much you are this character called Tin, and I'm really happy to say that it is now available on Steam that you can now get and all that jazz. Um, mainly, I developed this around the idea of wanting my own little world, so to speak. And it involves a character called Tin, and I'll get him up for you right now. Tin is basically a standardized warrior type guy, and he is T-I-N-N. -N. Now, at first, his skill sets are limited, but the character progression is that he learns different types of things called subgens and xgens, which are called sgens and xgens for obvious reasons. These are different types of abilities that he can learn along the way. You are able to not obtain any of these gens to make it harder for yourself to do things, but other than that, it involves you getting recruited into the Aronian Empire and that is located in the grand continent that I pretty much made up, um, which is freaking huge. This is just one island we're currently on, and this is only one section of the island. And the islands are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty big, so to speak. We have a total of nine different types of islands, and one of them is hidden, and you would have to obviously go find that one. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys where to find that, obviously, for obvious reasons that spoil the game and the rewards that come with it. Um, along with that, the different types of islands we have are based around a certain theme, including a dungeon in which you can repeat once again for different types of reputation gains. Yes, I did take the inspiration of reputation gains, uh, from WoW and now I'm implementing it into my game because I like the idea of reputation rewards. Now this isn't an MMO for obvious reasons. I had a look at making it into an MMO and yeah, it's, it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, <laughs> like I'm not the best programmer out there. I can make a mediocre app at, at best. But at the end of the day, I've managed to complete the game and I'm really, really happy to see it actually fully working and everything. And now it's available on Steam, really, really happy to see this. Uh, the continent of Aronia is where the Aronian Empire is based and what you are doing is pretty much doing some quests at the beginning. It's, it takes two islands to get to the, the grand continent and you Along the way, we'll discover certain different types of threats and or demons or some form of dark entities leading up to Aronia. This goes into the storyline in which a the god of the earth, Bannock, uh, so to speak, is raising an army for which you do not know. And it is your duty of now the Aronian soldiers that you are a part of and you must quell that threat that is coming across the entire of the Aronian Empire. There are a few little Easter eggs in there and a few things that I love, so to speak. I have implemented 11 different types of mounts which you can actually obtain, such as riding a horse and turning yourself into a boulder if you really wanted to, and a spectral being you can become. You can also turn yourself into different types of animal forms and all that jazz as a mount based thing and four of them are locked behind the reputation gains and a few others are hidden in the raids and yes when I mean raids I actually made four different types of raids which you can do but the thing is you can only enter a, only a couple of the raids before the storyline is pro completed basically. Uh, once you've completed the storyline, you can in go into all the different types of raids as you wish, and then you can see what type of things are going there. Now, there are different types of bosses which do uh, huge amounts of damage, and you're going to have to 
overcome those with different types of things and there are ones that have just insane amounts of health and or armor or have magic resistance well not magic resistance um elemental resistance would probably be the best way of explaining it i'm really happy to to show this because this island that we're actually on right now is called genora and this is one of the starting zone bases this is at the base called Bastion Castle and this is where you would go to start off your journey well after you've left your starting zone and all that jazz. Every one of the characters in the game is interactable. You can go up to anyone in the game and they'll 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 say something like talk to you. But other than that they do tell you some nice little insights within the game and I kind of got the idea from it from Pokemon. I was like you know what, I like the style of Pokemon, so I'm going to make it in the style of Pokemon. Um, I'm really, really happy about this. Um, I'm just glad it's actually released now. So if you guys wanted to go check it out, you can find it on Steam in the description down below. And I will leave it as a pinned comment in the comment section. So hopefully you guys can just check it out and see if you like it or not. Um, obviously, I spent a year making this, so it's it, it does cost something. I'm not going to spend an entire year of my life making something and not get anything out of it. So if uh, you did want to get it, obviously it does cost. Um, it's, it's about three quid for the first 30 days. Um, it's on a special offer type thing. I started, I put it as low as I could as uh, Steam would allow me to do that so if you wanted to check it out that'd be awesome and other than that guys have a lovely rest of the day and please tell me what you think of the actual game any feedback if you do get the chance to play it other than that guys have a lovely rest of the day and i shall see you on the next video which will be tomorrow take it easy guys